Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and Aria Chronicles. We resume where we left things off last time with a quest to hunt, a repeatable quest to uh, get some experience before we head off to the Dust Canyon, a new zone, to find the way to Ascension. That'll be for tomorrow. Well, to the next episode, <laughs> whenever that comes out. But before we do, I uh, found something and was given a tip. The first thing that I found, I didn't know that you could click on the village hall, well, or that it did anything if you did click on it. But you can upgrade the village hall, and that increases your maximum stamina during expeditions to 75, up from 70, and it will increase the maximum hero capacity you can have from 10 to 12. This is a good thing to upgrade. And instead of buying a key, I should have done that. I really should have. So, uh, yeah, we'll be keeping this in mind moving forward. The tip I received was from Evan Roll. Thank you very much. And it was to go to the tavern and have a good chat. Apparently, these villagers can... It says you may learn some important information. They can give side quests. And that sounds good to me. So... We're just going to go down the list. <clears throat> Here we go. A carrot farmer. I have no idea what a carrot farmer would sound like. Hey, you guys. I need you to help me. I'm carrot farming in the dust cannon, and an ugly ogre showed up and stole all my produce. A whole year of farming. Gone. I feel like crying. Could you get rid of that ogre? Sure. Can I just start all of them? <laughs> Do you know about traits? Heroes gain traits under special circumstances, such as leveling up. Traits can give a hero both a positive and negative ability at the same time. Choose the traits according to the level of the hero. If you don't like it, you can delete it. But it's quite expensive, so please be careful. Yeah, it is quite expensive. <laughs> Pay attention to your hero's mental state. A hero with a deficient mental state may act on their own. There have been a number of cases where they just left the mission on their own. There are two main ways to recover your mental state. One is to wait in the village. After successfully completing the quest and returning to the village, the mental state of the heroes waiting in the village will be restored. The other ways are leveling up and using mental state recovery items. However, mental state recovery items seem to be valuable and difficult to obtain. Thanks, quiet youth. An apathetic miner. I make a living by mining. Searching for ore has been a challenge recently. More and more giant tree forest monsters are violent now, so I can't mine safely. Will you guys collect ore instead of me? Please? I kind of need the ore myself, bro. Drunken old man. <laughs> uh, I'm drunk. Hey, when HP drops, take a healing potion. Don't just guzzle down booze like me. It seems that he's really drunk. Good on you, drunken old man. Local villager. Have you ever seen the strangely shaped mountain on the other side of the village? The mountain looks like a dragon's maw. It seems that there was a demon dragon's nest there for a period of time. It seems that it used to be a volcano. After the demon dragon was exterminated by His Majesty King Patrick, the mountain stopped erupting and became dormant. Even now, you can see the smoke coming out little by little. Local villager again. Be especially careful when going out on an expedition at night. At night, your attack rate drops. Conversely, the probability of taking a critical hit increases. But this applies to enemies as well. You can view it as an opportunity. Yeah, the buff is up here. Um, I don't know how to move time forward, so I guess we're going to head out at night. It re reduces accuracy by 3%, I guess for enemies as well. I'm glad I learned that. Plus 3 crit rate and plus 10% experience gained. So, oh yeah, it says there, applicable to all enemies and allies during quests. Reducing three accuracy when one, when Barzani, is that his name, already has minus three accuracy is kind of depressing, but I think we can make it work. Novice Adventurer. Giant tree forest near the village is a perfect place for beginners to explore. The monsters there aren't too strong and the path isn't too complicated. But don't let your guard down. There's a rumor that a violent wyvern flies around there. Please be careful not to encounter it. Wyvern, huh? Do you remember the wyvern that I talked about before? The rumor was true. I came across it in the giant tree forest. I managed to escape and avoid its poison breath, 
It really was dangerous. I hope someone defeats him. But is there such a brave hero in this village? Uh-oh. <laughs> Bookworm student. Hmm. This table is already full. Please sit in another place. Uh, sorry. The seat was empty. Or so I thought. Please look carefully. The remaining seats are taken by my bag, pencil case, and textbooks. Are you serious? Why are you studying at such a noisy bar? A noisy environment increases concentration. Do you know about white noise? Such ignorant people. And such a cheeky kid. Well, anyway, they were here first. Let's go sit somewhere else. Uh, Lady Arya, if you say so. White noise, huh? That was highlighted. Er, boldened. Hmm. Traveling sister. If you discover the bodies of other adventurers during your journeys, please do not touch them. There is a risk of getting sick, and above all, it's rude to disgrace the dead. Unless they have fat loot on them. A freshly hired clerk. You are still learning. You won't be perfect after only a couple of days of training. I can level up if I accumulate experience points, right? Then I might get new skills. Maybe this is a hint for us? Mm. Mm. Alright. Well, I don't think we can really spend our money on anything. Can I sell stuff? I don't think so. If I can, I want to sell my armor. Uh, the extra armor plate that we have, because we don't have another plateware. <laughs> you can buy back items you recently sold or threw out. That makes me think I can sell stuff. But how? Hmm. What's wrong? I need to make money. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. We can't really do anything uh, with our characters, so we're just gonna go. I probably should have bought a bow for you. Probably. All right, let's head out. Embark on our expedition. Oh my. So we have three quests here in the giant tree forest. That one's easy. Complete the quest with a warrior in your party. Hmm. I might knock out, we might do two quests today. We knock out the giant tree mining, and then we go hunt. On the hunt. How close are we to leveling up? Pretty close. That level 2 quest should bring us up, right? Wait, can we find all treasure? Is that a warlock thing? I think it is. One of the uh, expedition skills is to know the location of all the chests. I'm pretty sure that's a warlock thing, though. So I'm going to pretend... Oh, just kidding. I was saying I'll pretend to be responsible and buy all the keys, since we know we're going to try to open up chests. But, obviously, that uh, went out the board. Out the window. So we're going to do two quests today, if I can. A small area, and then a large area. What the heck is that? A troll. So they're weak to evasion, or er, darkness, excuse me. Hmm. Do they heal? Troll skin. HP 1 will be recovered every move. Target self not removable. Who would have thunk, huh? Uh, I'll ice arrow. This was a great suggestion by Kiravets to frostbite them to reduce their evasion. Evasion can go negative! <gasps> Kiravets! You're a genius! <laughs> so. That will help offset our absolutely horrific uh, stuff. Well, insect swarm. I don't want to spend too much mana, so I probably won't use any other abilities if I can help it. Why didn't you counterattack, Yao? Hmm? What you doing there? Get wrecked. Minus one speed. I could have healed, but I don't need to. Another thing I need to do is keep this defense thing in mind. I'm notorious for not doing that in my own playthroughs. Like, not defending. But that's probably really helpful. <gasps> we got a bow! 
freaking calculated. <laughs> Suddenly, I have no regrets. The shield for Dila was the correct option. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, RNG. The dark gods of RNG followed us. Thank you, Elder One. But, uh... Alright, we need to spend some stamina. Do you think there is... A bonfire here? There should be, right? <laughs> That's the second time now we've spent four stamina to cut down grapevines, and there's been nothing there. Twice now. And there's another one. I've never searched a signpost before. Maybe we should pick up a charmer. They're weird, and I like weird, and they allow us to search for free. But uh, we'll try and circumvent the great vines, because remember, with our monk, we can kind of come back if we need to. Hmm. We could pick up a dusty orb for Aria. We could pick up more leather sandals for speed. But I think it's just worth to pick up the raw crafting materials, honestly. Probably. I don't remember how much these are sold for in town, or if they even are. We'll pick them up. I love crafting. Crafting is my gig. Treasure chest. That's mine, don't touch. Brah. Ooh, we got a torch. I hope I can use that on the vines. Also, I think warriors can just break the obstacles for free. Which, um... We popped our extra evasion there. Which makes them pretty useful, honestly. Warriors, that is. Even though I don't like warriors. I don't want to have a warrior on the team. Because my fear is that they're really good. <laughs> and be like, why is that a fear? Because it is. What am I doing? I guess I'm just waiting. I want to try and get like either one-shot kills or overkills. For the free experience and stuff. Because we need as much money as we can possibly get. Oh no. It died. What a shame. We'll Hadouken. And then you'll overkill. Alright, that works. Um, but I'm pretty happy. Actually, what is this? Oh, healing powder. Powder extracted from healing potions. All allies are affected. All allies recover 25% max, max HP. <laughs> I must have figured. Good. That was actually a quite profitable fight. Do you think there's extra loot? at night? It just said experience, right? Burn that and open this chest. A sword. A normal sword. Warrior, paladin, rogue, mage, warlock, exile. We have one of those. Ooh, bonfire. Nice. Alright, now I'm confident breaking all the vines in the world. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. One plus one achievement. All right, we're going to fully explore this because, of course, we are. Oh, lost documents. I'm pretty sure I can't determine these. Oh! There was information. I'm going to set the bonfire right now. And we'll just burn through the rest of our stamina. Because we're fine. We could have just gone around, but... Eh. If we didn't have the monk, that would have been Ooh, more efficient, I think. When you pray to the statue, something happened. Arya gained bluff. What? 
Even if things are tough, you won't let it show. Gain damage multiplier plus 20%, healing received minus 50%. If your HP is below 60%, even if you are healing during combat. Huh. So does that only trigger when you're below 60%? What does this do? I've never done that before. There doesn't seem to be any useful information. It does nothing. What a shock. Leather belt. Evasion. Hey, Yao. What up, Yao? Have some evasion. <laughs> I was talking to Kira Vets about the accessories and like whether not being able to equip a weapon and offhand and just having three accessory slots is good, like the monk and the charmer. If that's good or bad, all depends on how strong the, the accessories become. Like some JRPGs go crazy and they become like insanely powerful near the end. But others are pretty tame. So, hard to say. I am noticing that levels are a big deal. Eye for an eye. Hammurabi code. Not too great at anything, not too bad at anything either. Hmm. So we have a new, a new talent slot as well. Weapon Master. This is one of those generic talents that everyone gets. Special weapons give you bonus attributes limited to weapons that can be equipped. Axe, crit, mace, accuracy, sword, evasion, dagger, crit, staff, effect chance. Every time an enemy receives a buff, you get light attack plus two and heal power plus two. Huh. That's probably really good. Like, I can see this scaling beyond, like, fathom. <laughs> but, uh, in fact, that might even just be better than March. Well, plus two physical attack is pretty good. Four, good old Arya. We saw the karma last time. So we also have Weapon Master, and we're going to equip it because uh, plus 10% effect chance improves our chance of bleeding enemies with uh, Insect Swarm. And Blinding. So that's good. Our new ability, I didn't even check. For Tila, we got Protect. Protect an ally and take all attacks for them. Very Paladin-y. And Sacred Fire. Turn yourself into a Sacred Fire. self immolation is not safe. You cannot use skills during this time, but you will get accuracy plus 5%, crit plus 5%, damage multiplier plus 40%. At the end of the buff's duration, explode, inflicting accuracy plus 5%, crit plus 5%, damage multiplier plus 40% on all enemies. Weird. Super duper weird. But you know, <laughs> this would trigger um, this would trigger deterrence. Would it trigger deterrence for all three buffs, or is that just one buff? Oh, that's so weird. I like it, but it's weird. You can have some very, like, a ret paladin, just full-blown. For Arya? Oh, I didn't check this. Incarnation. This is our first ultimate ability. You charge up a bar, and then you can use this ability. Becomes an incarnation of a divine being. Gain speed 5, accuracy 10, 10 crit, damage multiplier 50, effect chance 30, harmful effect resist 50, max HP plus 50%, armor plus 3. So it's Avatar. That seems pretty good. For Arya, we had we had Charm. So we have Poison Cloud. Summon a cloud of poison with a 6% chance of inflicting poison on one line. So this is just like the Entangle on one line. But now we have a better chance to inflict it because of our weapons master talent. Barksian, encase your bar body in bark and get armor plus four. Defensive item. Targets ally single target. So I can put that on other people? Hmm. Her ultimate, Serenity. All allies will recover magical attack plus 60% each turn. That's worth noting. Oh, maybe it's not. I thought the other heals scale off of... Healing power. Magical attack. Healing received. 
Wait, is he? Oh, yeah, here is heal power. What? Does that just add bonuses onto your heal from the scales from magic cool attack? A little confused, Tim. Not gonna lie. Where have I not been? I can't tell. <laughs> we. I think we're done, right? Failed to decode. Failed to decode because we don't have a mage. Yeah, that's it. We did it. Good job, team. Yay! It's pretty easy. Uh, so now we go back to the dude. We do have a warrior. We could pick up Roland for the quest. Alright, up that matter. Oh, you guys! It seems that you were able to mine some ore. Impressive. You don't have to give me the ore. Now that you guys handled the monsters, I can go mining myself. Please use that ore yourselves. What if you smelt it at a blacksmith? That wasn't very rewarding. Oh, you guys. Thanks for helping me out last time. This time I'm trying to mine ore in the canyon area. But everyone says that the canyon is dangerous. So I'm worried about going. Can you go to the mine in the canyon? Go for me and then tell me how it is. Okay. Now, I'm not that interested in changing characters up. I want to keep rolling with the same group that we've had. But I also want to upgrade... <laughs> a thousand gold. Alright, well. We'll go ahead and upgrade that. <laughs> um, is there anyone that's, like, standing out really good? If you take damage and HP drops below 50%, you have 50% chance of giving damage multiplier plus... 20%. Max HP minus 10. That seems no good. Attributes are increased during the day, but the corresponding attributes decrease by speed 3, minus 3, damage multiply minus 5%, effect chance minus 5% at night. Okay. Hmm. That's not bad. I'm only people who act on their own. Mental control plus 30%, max armor minus 2. Probably not good for a frontliner. Probably not. Losing control of your character is probably not a good thing for healers. No one around you can stop you. Physical resist plus 10%, magic resist plus 10%, harmful effect resistance minus 20. That's probably not bad. Hmm. Interesting. Weird. Weird and interesting. Uh, we need... What do we need? It says attack power on this stick. Does that mean... Attack power? <laughs> or... Magical attack power? I don't know. We can make some of these. Alright. I don't think... We determined last time that that doesn't cost any money. So I mean, we might as well make it. Right? Evasion and physical attack. What up, Yao? Don't say I never did anything for you, okay? Effect chance plus 3% recover HP plus 1 each turn. Ooh. Ooh. This is really good for... Arya. This is as well. In fact, if I can get... I don't know what mental control is, but if I can get both of these... For... Both of our backliners, that'd probably be good, right? I think so. Hmm. Do we have any arm? I don't think our ranger has anything, right? Oof. Neither do we, though. <laughs> I think we'll leave... Barzani's on his own for a little bit. Because our ranger has wrong place, wrong time. So every now and then he gets attacks deflected to him. <laughs> 
So uh, he can have some defense. Also, a really cool thing about this game is that your weapons will change with you. So they are actually in the game as real weapons. See? Cha cha! Sword equipped. It can be really funny sometimes, but it's a really nice touch, and I love that. There are some JRPGs that don't do that, and it's a little depressing. But great touch. I love it. Alright. So, with 700 gold, let's check the black market. Ooh. Ooh, look at this! Attack power plus 2, minus 1 magical attack, plus 3 heal power. Fascinating. And the Ring of Nature. I might upgrade this, because this seems like a... <laughs> a YOLO type thing. I'd probably upgrade this first, right? Alright, we'll be responsible. I don't want to be, but I will. Alright, so now we're going to go hunt. We'll get the rest of our crew up to level 4, and we'll start unlocking everyone's other stuff and things. Wow. There are so many quests. <laughs> so many quests. Which is very appropriate for JRPGs, right? Like, the point... The point might be incorrect, but... One of the things about JRPGs is that there is a like an unfathomable amount of farming that you can do. So, that's something to keep in mind. Our sub goal is to search all areas, so I'm not against it. I'm not searching the codex because I don't care, and I'm not searching the signpost because I don't know what it does. And we left the healing pond there for when we want to go back. We can buy a key. It might be worth it to buy the triangular emeralds for crafting. I might come back here. I'll think about it. But while we are exploring, explore the world. I want to take this moment to thank everyone because it actually made me really emo We just got one of the emeralds. Um, oof. I probably have to cut that to move forward. I don't want to. It made me very emotional to see the amount of support that this series is getting. And it's just like a perfect world when there's something that you're passionate about. Like, I love this game. Even though there are flaws in it, I love it because this is right up my alley. It's Etrian Odyssey, Darkest Dungeon, myriad of other JRPGs all mashed together. And people are enjoying the journey. Even my voice acting. <laughs> so thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. It makes me happy. And let's see this to the end. First, we have a fight to, to deal with. Lady Arya, a hero has reached level 4. They can now use an ultimate. Space dot. An ultimate. Ultimates are powerful skills that can turn the tide of a battle. Instead of draining MP like normal skills do, they use the ultimate gauge. The ultimate gauge is shared by the whole party. It will charge when you damage enemies, restore the health of allies, or use certain skills. When the gauge is full, you can use ultimates. However, because the gauge is shared by the whole party, you should exercise careful judgment when choosing which hero's ultimate technique to use. Thank you, Tila. Ultimates are special skills that each hero possesses. They are immensely powerful and can turn the tide of even the most dire situations but they cannot be used unless your ultimate gauge is full. The ultimate gauge is shared by all the heroes in your party, so consider the situation carefully before you decide which hero's ultimate to use. That explains why they're so freaking powerful. I actually didn't know that they were... It was shared. Uh, these guys are only immune to... or weak to darkness, yeah. So... Let's ice it up. Time... To have a nice time. <laughs> Do I try the fire thing? So 
Accuracy Crit Damage Multiplier. You know, if I use this and then use Crusader Strike, let's try it. Oh yeah, that's a good self-emulation. Oh wait, I can't use abilities. That's not bad. Um. Ooh, we hit them both. Our new talent is pretty useful. Wait. Whoa. Keyboard smash. I didn't even do anything. We just rolled protected. An ally missed five attacks in a row. What? <laughs> I didn't do anything. They're the ones that missed. Not me. Blame them. That was exact lethal, by the way. <laughs> Direct. They shall come. What? Who's this? Yao has been enlightened. You constantly tap your foot in. You know too little of this world. Sun resistance, mesmerize resistance. I mean, that's probably not... Probably depends entirely on what you're fighting, huh? Alright, rank four. More talking. So we had neutralization was our other one. So we got three talents to choose from. Snake form. Take the stance of a snake, making full use of your Kenpo skills. Crit rate plus five. Crit power plus 20. Hmm. Tiger stance. Take the stance of a tiger, making full use of your Kenpo skills. Damage multiplier plus 10%. That seems... Good. Take the stance of a crane, making full accuracy of your Kenpo skills. Accuracy 5, evasion 5. Okay. What does this bring our attack to? 16. I'm going to go with crane. 100% accuracy. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my entire life. I love not missing. <laughs> missing sucks. We've unlocked Dashing Strike. Deal physical damage 84 to 120% each time you attack. Get evasion plus 3%, damage multiplier plus 10, and stack a key flow. Now we're getting into the monk shit. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. And our ultimate is Deadly Flow. Send forth a continuous flow of deadly key four times, dealing physical damage... 105 to 150% to the enemy. If the enemy is killed by the attack chain, you will recover the same number of attacks. Attribute adjustment, accuracy, plus 30%. The enemy is killed by the attack chain, you will recover the same number of attacks. I don't get that. Also, I think the attribute adjustment, accuracy, plus 30% is just saying this attack has plus 30% accuracy. Which is good if it attacks four times, right? Alright. Barzani. Dark Assist. Oh, we saw this one. Dark Shield. Weapon Master. This is actually not helpful for us at the moment. Because effect chance doesn't do anything. Well, actually does it. Hold on. Don't just your ability do stuff. And have an 85% chance of inflicting stun. Yeah, okay. We might as well keep it. Uh, We had up to Arcane Wave, right? So we have Bind and Urge now. Bind an enemy with magic to inflict speed minus 5, accuracy minus 5, evasion minus 5, damage multiplier minus 20%, and gain an equal increase to your attributes. However, enemies will temporarily gain the same buff effects once released. Huh. So you are incentivized. You can steal buffs to yourself and you're incentivized to kill that thing before buff release. Also, this if the buff does end, this would stack with Tila's thing as well. That's so weird. Cool, but weird. Urge. Heal your familiar's HP by magical attack 60% and give them attack power 1, speed 1, accuracy 1, crit 1, crit power 10, armor plus 1, this effect stacks. Huh. Again, you cannot control the familiar. It kind of just does whatever it feels like. So that's interesting. A way to heal it, though, is very useful. I'm curious to see how powerful it can really be. It just because it takes so much time to set up, we haven't really had a fight that's been elongated enough for me to feel like I need to summon that pet. Eternal Service is our ultimate. 
Breathe magic into your familiar, giving action points plus one. Ooh. And damage multiplier plus 100%. HP drain plus 20%. Max H plus 20%. This effect stacks. Additional action points. That's pretty strong. Hmm. And our good old archer buddy. We had calmness. We had sharpshooter. Crit rate plus 10. Accuracy plus 10 when attacking small enemies. Guidance is currently equipped because I love speed. And Bowmaster. When a bow is equipped, accuracy plus 2%, crit plus 2%. Yes. And thank you. <laughs> uh, we got... I should check the traits well, as well for the other ones. Uh, so we had all of this, except for ambush, I think. Wait for the right moment to ambush and attack twice at the end of the round. So... This is like delaying your attack for some reason. I'm sure there's a good reason for this. I just can't think of it at the moment. Like, maybe you wait for your front line to break the enemy's armor and then go in. That would make sense. Chaser. Deal an extra attack to any enemy attacked by your ally. By any of your allies, or do you designate an ally? <laughs> this is like the, um... Landschnecht's Chaser. Not Chaser. Lynx. The Elemental Lynx. Wow, I pulled that one out of forever ago. Uh, so Thick Neck, I think this is okay. Some resist plus 30% Mesmerize Resist Reduce. I liked... This may sound weird, but I really liked Layman. Not too great at anything, not too bad at anything. It's a slant that's like... It's not bad, it's not good. Which I think is... Good. <laughs> now we can't roll anything beneficial, but we can't roll anything negative either. You constantly tap your foot and irritate others. Accuracy minus 3%. Dislike. Mesmerize resistance plus 15. Debuff resistance plus 15. I kind of like that stuff. And anyway, we got our accuracy back up to 100% with the crane thing. So is it really that bad? Hmm. Fatigue damage and HP drops below 50%. You have a 50% chance giving... Ooh. I don't like this one. We're missing out on like 4 HP or something. This one's also accuracy reduced. It's worth pointing out that Barton has additional accuracy against backline targets. So... It's not the worst thing for him. What was here? I've forgotten. <laughs> this doesn't seem dangerous. That's because there's nothing here. How do I get back across? <laughs> is the real question. Alright. Let's, let's see what this does. Give him a good punch. Key flow. When camp, so when mesmerized, damage taken, electrocuted, fainted. But I take damage. Huh. That's weird, right? Ooh, get wrecked. Ooh, get wrecked. <laughs> Everyone's getting wrecked today, team. Smack. Smack. So we got two one-shots and an overkill. Nice. Yeah, levels are powerful. I mean, like, I suspected that, but it's good to confirm it. I didn't want to break that, uh, but I did. Alright, now we're going to go back uh, and purify that, that well in a minute. I'm glad I didn't break that line now. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't. I thought about it, but we didn't do it. Cripple. Uh, only weak to darkness, so we'll frost them. Have some frostbite. Funny story, actually. I almost got my toes frostbitten. They were very black. 
and it was unsafe. <laughs> it wasn't even anything weird. I was in my bed, sleeping. <laughs> It's just that I have a Reynaud's phenomenon, which is when there's reduced blood flow to the extremities, your hands and feet. And so during the winter, I have to be very mindful of that. A blue orb, ultimate magic charge plus 10%, magic attack plus one, effect chance plus 3%. Hey, Aria, congratulations. More effect chance. This has been profitable, team. We are on a roll. I was speaking to someone in the comments. I uh, I love debuffs, and Druid's a big part of that. That didn't give me any stamina. I was kind of hoping that would give me stamina, team. <sighs> so, don't be surprised if you see a debuff team start to form in the near future. What does that look like exactly? I'm not sure yet. I have to cut this down to move forward. All right, hope and pray for a bonfire. Ooh, a sword with a wide blade. Attack power plus two, accuracy plus one, crit power plus 10. Um, I don't, what does that give us exactly? Evasion? I like the accuracy of the mace. But we'll change this for now. <laughs> Look at this sword. It's like a short a short sword. 99% accuracy. It reminds me of... There's a sword in Dark Souls 3 that's like a short... Oh, thank you. A short sword. And it's very good early on. You just get the... The raw stone or whatever. This is a locked treasure chest. Huh. Small dagger. Uh, broadsword of things what it's called, actually. And you just get the raw stone to remove all of its scaling, but give it raw damage. And it's very good for a large portion of the game. I use it in almost all of the playthroughs I did. Not on the channel, just when I was, you know, having a grand old time by myself. Alright, time to punch some stuff. Ooh. You're making me proud, Yao. Oof. That was a lot of damage. And to think that not so long ago, I was talking trash about Yao. We're gonna stay in dungeon to explore everything. Of course. Of course, of course. A horse, a horse. And that was everything, right? Hunt the zero left. Search all areas. We did. Oh. Wait a minute. It says search all areas. Not explore all areas. Uh, Alright, well we have a bit of a run back. <laughs> If, if we didn't have the monk... Oh, look! When you've used the bonfire, the fish has been eaten. <laughs> Good touch. If we didn't have the monk, we would be... screwed. Remember, the monk allows us to... move to territories we've already explored without consuming stamina. Otherwise, every move would be costing us two stamina. Oh, a new codex. What the heck is this? Simply stepping into certain areas will cause damage. When taking a lava... When entering a lava of a volcano, you will take fire damage. When entering a snowstorm, you will take ice damage. Ha. Ah. There's someone that reduces that. Is that you, Barton? Responds quickly to traps and emergencies. Hmm... I've never seen the effects of lust, the probability of events producing good results increases, but that's because I we've never used we've never not used the invoker. I'm not cutting that down. 
We need all of our stamina. You gain information on multiple places from the signpost. Is that worth doing under normal circumstances? There are shortcuts to be found while exploring, such as the straw lines installed in the dust cannon in the White Mountains. Oh. I didn't know that. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled then. You know, in the next few zones. I only know that the Dust Cannon is the next zone. I don't know how any of the other zones work. <laughs> this is going away. All or nothing, you only live once. Yellow. You only live once. Yeah, <laughs> yellow. Accuracy minus 10%, crit plus 50%. Nope. Oh, 800 gold. Oh, it's so expensive. It hurts. But, uh... Ari is not big into critting. We just want to not miss and make sure we apply our effects with Insect Swarm, Poison Cloud, Stunning, later setting them on fire, and fearing them. I'm very interested for Bushfire. I want it so bad. Uh, and we get Chain Lightning too. Oh. Oh, Chain Lightning. And that was that. We should be done then. Yes? Question mark? I'm gonna go back to the merchant real quick. <sighs> Trying to be as efficient as humanly possible. <laughs> what up, bro? So what did we have here? We'll buy that for crafting purposes. And I'll buy one key. Because the alchemist dude only ever has one key. So... That was good. It seems you have completed the previous request successfully. Thank you, Lady Aria. You're welcome. Mm, but it looks like I have to make a similar request again. This time, it's the monsters in the Dust Canyon causing trouble. I wanted to ask Ivan, but since he's the head of village security, I can't make him go somewhere far from the village. Mm. When you have time, could you defeat the monsters in the canyon? Hi. Leave it to us, Mark. We will get the job done. We will. <laughs> okay, now new talks. Do we want to recruit someone? Svetlana. Why does that name sound familiar? Hmm. Nocturnal. The bird is caught by the early worm. Attributes are increased at night. Why? Wouldn't the bird is caught by the early worm be a diurnal thing? Or whatever. Attributes are increased in night. It's basically the same thing as diurnal, but different times. Humanoid Hunter. Gains extra 10% damage and accuracy plus 5 against humanoids. Suffer extra damage minus 5, accuracy minus 2 against all the races. This might actually not be bad. I don't know how many humanoids we fight, though. But remember, our main opponent is the cult, which is full of humanoids. Vertically Challenged. You're very tiny. Evasion plus 5, crit minus 5. Probably not good for warriors, but probably not that bad either. I don't know. I don't like warriors. <laughs> I'm anti-warrior. What do you have? Flamberge and carved staff. I'm not sure why the carved staff has attack power on it, honestly. Do you have attack power? You do, okay. Wait, is this... Oh, it's both. It's both attack power, or physical attack, and magical attack. Huh. That was not what I expected. But good to know. Hmm. Something interesting to keep in mind. Accuracy plus three. This could be used to just offset some jinxes. What's the benefit of the minus three accuracy jinx? Mesmerize resistance and debuff resistance? Not the best thing in the world. Not the worst thing. Not the worst thing. I feel like upgrading the smithy 
I think these blue items require items from the Dusty Canyon to build. That makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, did I actually ever equip that? <laughs> I'm terrible. Wait, what? Why is it red? Multiple of the same accessory type cannot be. Oh, there's that restriction. Okay, so I'm assuming it's because it's a belt. Go away. Yep. Okay, that's fine. It's basically the belt, except we get one physical attack as well. Which is what Yao wants. So who wants to be more evasive? You have 8%, 5%, 5%, 10 Tila has 10 evasion? As a paladin? I'll give it to her, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> but hey, who am I to say? Right. Back to what I was doing. This would be good. I can't say I have one of these in my bag, but it's equipped, it's not in my bag. I liked the accuracy bonus of the Morning Star, but oh, ah, oh. I was thinking, could you get the accuracy bonus? It's saying accuracy when a mace is equipped, but you can't equip maces, right? Let me check. We do have one in our inventory. Yeah, he can't equip it. I feel deceived. Well. Ooh, I should get this. That's for Arya. And then I'll make... Uh... <sighs> I just did the thing. I bought this. But the other one is like literally a better version of this. Great. And we literally just learned that you can't have multiple types of the same accessory. This ring is okay. This is pretty good, I think. Wait, don't we have something like this? That's for Tila. Oh no, she has the rusty thing still. I should probably make the robe for Barzani, honestly. <sighs> He's been kind of left out to dry, you know? Um, we could also make the orb for him. I'm thinking. We could put this on Yao, right? She has some effects. Let's check. You know what? I might just make this. I think it's as good. Alright, yeah. Oh, you have your sandals. Okay. There you go. Arya doesn't need health regeneration. She's not getting hit very often. You can have the robe. And we don't have an orb for you. Alright, we're at 800 golds. Can't upgrade anything because I spent money. So, Angel Statue. Enables you to retry a battle you've lost. 3,000 gold. Jeez. Um, does that mean the only thing I have left to upgrade from level 1 is the black market? I think that's right. Because this is level 2. Yeah. Alright. I'll upgrade you. And then I want to buy a torch. They seemed very useful when I when we were going through the last area. Alright. And that will be it for today. Our full our team is all level four. All of us have our ultimates. All of us have our abilities, our second talents. We are good to go. If you won't think any of these jinxes are really bad, uh, feel free to let me know. I have mixed feelings on a few of them, but 
I don't think any of these are, like, terribly detrimental. We'll see, of course. Next time, we have a few quests to do. I might... Well, I can't really recruit you when I don't have any money. <laughs> the bonus is to bring a warrior with us. You know what? Next time we'll do the, the actual quest. The find the way to ascension. And then we will look at building a second team and getting uh, some friends involved. Some new friends. That way I get to use a new background in the thumbnail. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. There's good news too on the JRPG front. I meant to talk about this earlier, but I got so distracted with what we were doing, which I guess is a good thing, because we were doing it. Shimigami Tensei 5 coming out for the Switch in 2021. I don't know if I'll be able to record and make series for it, but if I can, I'm definitely going to. Yes, Shimigami Tensei, finally. I've been waiting for news on that forever. They had a teaser for it when the Switch was being announced, and uh, it's taken them this long to get us something concrete. But super excited. <laughs> Got kind of derailed there at the ending. But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. We had a great time. We are almost fully equipped. Our team is coming together, shaping together. Yao, who I was dissing a few episodes ago, has come out swinging, literally. And I'm very proud of her. She's done great. The one in question, I think, is the Invoker. But I think that's because we haven't been able to fight long enough fights for him to really shine. So next time when we do the quest battle, I hope that Barzani can prove his worth. Otherwise, he's on the chopping block. We'll find out together. Bye-bye.